What's up champs, welcome to today's video. My name is Trevor Peterson, I'm a full-time seven-figure Amazon seller. And in today's video, we're going to be doing a full A to Z tutorial breaking down Amazon PPC. This is something that a lot of people have questions about. So we're going to be breaking down what PPC is, how to optimize PPC, how to scale your PPC, and how to launch with PPC. So this video is literally for every Amazon seller and I'm really excited about it. But before we dive into it, let's dive into my seller account and let you guys know that what I teach is what I implement in my own FBA business. So let's come over here and as you guys can see, for the day, I'm just over $1,400 in sales. And in the last 30 days, I'm just over $110,000. So again, what I teach is what I implement. So make sure to go down, hit the subscribe button, like this video, drop a comment. I would really appreciate it. The YouTube algorithm would appreciate it. And I just wanna say thank you guys. And without further ado, let's dive into the video. All right, so here we are inside my screen. And the first thing that I wanna do is help you understand what PPC is and what is its purpose. So PPC stands for pay per click. It's basically Amazon's advertising platform inside Amazon where we can go create a sponsored ad and promote our product on a certain keyword to basically boost our sales and to rank our products. So it's very important that we know how to set these up because without PPC, it's impossible to get your product off the ground. It's impossible to get the sales velocity. And if you don't get those first initial sales, it's impossible to get those organic five-star reviews. And without reviews, it's going to be very hard for your product to stick and continue to grow over time. So PPC is an absolutely crucial part in your product launch. And I just wanna break down what PPC is and how to set it up. So there's a lot of different things. There's a lot of different terms like ACOS, click-through rate, broad, phrase, exact match, dynamic bids. What are all these things? And I'm going to help simplify everything. So let's come over here. And right here, obviously, before you launch, you need to have units available to sell. You have to have an Amazon the seller account. You have to have a product um, ready to roll. Um, your listing needs to be 100% optimized. You have to have your keywords in um, the title, the bullet points, in the description, in the back end search terms. This is very important and we'll cover why. Then obviously, you need to have images. If you guys have bad images, your PPC campaigns are going to be absolute trash. So it's very important to optimize your listing so that when you are showing your product, on these sponsored placements that they're actually going to convert and it looks professional because if it doesn't, then customers are going to click and they're gonna be like, see ya, I'm out. And you're going to spend a lot of money. And then you need to have a coupon set um, on your product. So like 10 to 25% coupon. And this is just going to give the customer and, and let the customers decide, hey, I'm going to give this person a chance because they have a 25% coupon. Even though they don't have any reviews, I'm going to do it because I get a better deal. So that's what that is. And now let's break down the different types of PPC. So we have automatic and we have manual, and then we'll cover down the targeting match types and whatnot. So let's come over to Amazon. And actually the first thing I wanna do is kind of show you examples of PPC in action. So right here at amazon.com, um, I search bamboo sunglasses and you're going to see that there's sponsored ads right here at the very, very beginning. So if I click on this, then this company is going to get charged. So if I don't click on it, they're not going to get charged. So I'm not gonna click on it. I wanna be nice to them. Um, again, right here, we have sponsored ads right here. There's four of them. If I click on it, they're going to get charged. And basically what they're doing is they're just showing their product um, in front of the main organic basically searches. So it's very, very powerful. And just kind of a little tip, um, I searched bamboo sunglasses. It wouldn't make sense for me to uh, advertise my product on metal sunglasses because these are bamboo sunglasses. So that's something very important to understand is Amazon is like a search engine. So they're searching for specific keywords. They're not, if, if they search for bamboo sunglasses, they want bamboo sunglasses. If they search for metal sunglasses, then they want metal sunglasses. Um, I, I don't even know if that's a, a keyword, but you guys kind of get the point or polarized or non-polarized. So that's very important. And you're going to see that these sponsored ads are of course, bamboo sunglasses. You're, they're, no one's going to waste their money advertising their plastic sunglasses when someone is searching for bamboo sunglasses. So that's the first thing that you guys need to understand is targeted keywords versus not really targeted. So bamboo sunglasses obviously is targeted for these keywords, but now let's come back to Amazon on the seller account. And you're going to go to advertising. You're going to hit campaign manager. 
And the first thing that you're going to see is you're going to see spend, sales, ACOS, impressions, CTR. What do these things even mean? And what's cool is you can actually click on this little information icon and it basically shows you what does spend mean? What is sales? And sales is how many sales are you getting from your PPC campaigns? ACOS, advertising cost of sales. So how much money are you spending in ads versus your actual cost of sales? So that's very important to understand what this is because if you have a super, super high ACOS, then that basically means you're losing money each time you sell a unit. So obviously the goal is to get a low ACOS you have impressions, which basically it's the number of times your ad um, was displayed. And then the click, uh, the CTR, so the click through rate is clicks divided by impressions. So those are things that you kind of just vocabulary words that may you may not understand, but you guys can again go through and relearn them and just study them by these little icons. The next thing that I want to cover is the different types of campaigns. So we have the campaign type, we have sponsored products, we have sponsored brands, we have sponsored display. These two are only if you are brand registered, but we are not um, on this account. So we're just going to be covering sponsored product, which I had just sponsored products um, for literally my first year and a half. And on my second account, that's all I have. And it works completely fine. Obviously, the goal is to get enrolled in brand registered once you start building a brand, but it's, it's not worth it for your very, very first product if you don't even know if it's going to sell. So um, just sponsored products is fine. And again, you can hit the learn more button and it's going to break down a little bit more information about sponsored products. So I'm gonna hit continue. And then there's the settings, there's the campaign bidding strategy, create ad group products. And this can be kind of overwhelming, but don't worry. Um, it's very, very simple to set up a campaign and we're going to first set up an automatic campaign and then we'll talk about a manual campaign and then we'll go back and show you how to optimize your automatic and then how to really set up a manual campaign to basically set you up for success. But right here you have the campaign name. You can just give it any name. And again, if you're confused on any of these words, it has the information icon and it breaks it down. On um, the start date, I put today's date and then I have no end date. Daily budget, I like to put at least like 50 bucks. Um, it says over here, most campaigns with a budget of 30 run throughout the day. And basically I don't want to run out of budget, especially at the very beginning of, of launching a product. If I run out of budget, that basically means that my listing isn't being shown to potential buying customers. So that's why I have a higher uh, daily budget. Then I'm gonna hit automatic um, targeting. And again, if you want to learn more, you can click on that button, learn a little bit more. Um, campaign bidding strategy, I'm going to do dynamic bids down only, which I will explain why um, I don't really worry about fixed bids much. I do do a little bit with dynamic bids. Um, and then I talk about uh, uh, just bids by placement, um, bid plus um, in, in my course. And we won't talk about that um, in today's video, but dynamic bids down only, um, I'll explain why. Then you give it an ad group name, you give um, the product, you hit add, then we scroll down. So that's the product that we're wanting to advertise. And then the default bid, we're going to do just a little bit more than the suggested bid. So we'll say we got a dollar um, because we obviously were trying to launch and rank our product. We don't want to put a super, super low bid because if we have a low bid, we're not probably going to be shown to as many customers where if we have a higher bid, our product is going to be shown to more people. And the more people that see our product, that's the more potential buying customers. And that's very important at the very beginning. And that is another thing that you do need to understand is at the beginning, you are going to bleed a little bit. You're going to spend a little bit more and you're not going to be super profitable, but sales velocity is key. Without sales, you cannot rank. And if you don't have sales, you can't get the reviews that you need to build that credibility. And as soon as you do start ranking and as soon as you do start getting the reviews, the ACoS is going to drop dramatically. And also after you optimize, it's going to continue to drop and drop and drop and you're going to be more and more and more profitable. So that's the goal with PPC is we're using it initially to launch and get our product in front of as many customers as possible. And that's why it's not smart to just go throw one campaign up and say, oh, I'm going to rank and that's all I need to do. No, there's a little bit more to PPC than just kind of throwing it up there. So that's that. And then you're going to hit launch campaign. And that is how to set up your first initial automatic campaign. You're going to let that run for like three, five days. 
Um, you're going to monitor it. Maybe you're running through um, your budget. Maybe you're not, so you need to increase your bid. If you're not running through your budget, then you need to increase your bid. Um, if you're just blowing through your budget, like you're blowing through it within like an hour or so, then drop that uh, the, the bid down to like 71 cents and and then see kind of where you're at. So you don't want to just blow through it, but you also want to run it through your budgets, if that makes sense. So that's um, some tips there. And then we'll talk about some negative keyword targeting, which right now you don't need to set this up and worry about it because you don't have any information. You don't have any data about that particular product. But now let's talk about um, uh, manual targeting. And there's two different kinds of manual targeting. So it's again, you set up the very similar thing, give it a campaign name. I'm going to do dynamic bids down only, but if you're looking, uh, and I'll give you guys an example when to use dynamic bids up and down. If you're looking to target just one keyword and you just want to rank that keyword to the very first page as quick as possible and you want to be shown at that first position at all times, then that's when you're going to put dynamic bids up and down because basically what that means is Amazon will raise your bid by a maximum of 100%. So if, you're, if your bid is at a dollar, Amazon will show your um, listing and max that out to 100%. So basically they'll spend $2 per click. And so it's just making sure that you get that first position. So that's what that's going to do. And that's something that you can play around with. Um, but for now, I'm just going to leave it at dynamic bids, um, add group name, you can give it a name, just something that's easy to remember. And then we go down to targeting. And this is where there's two different kinds of targeting inside a manual campaign. There's keyword targeting and product targeting campaign. So if we go back to Amazon, this is keyword targeting. So if we search bamboo sunglasses, these particular products are going to show up. But if we could click on this guy's listing, for example, and if we scroll down, there's sponsored products related to this item, and that is product targeting. So it's kind of cool where on Amazon, you can literally choose specific keywords that you know are targeted towards your specific product. You can enter those in right there, and you can be shown on that first page. And then you can also basically hijack your competitor's listing and show your sponsored products on their listing. So that is product targeting. So keyword targeting, you're going to enter in a list and we're going to do um, exact. Um, at the very beginning, you're going to enter your list of different keywords that are very targeted and I'll show you guys how to get those keywords. Um, and then the product targeting, you're going to, I actually have an entire video breaking this down. Maybe I'll link it down below. I'm showing you how to use Helium 10 Black Box to find the best uh, ASINs to target in these campaigns. Um, and what an ASIN is, it's basically a product that you can actually target and place your ads on specific customers' listings and not customer sellers' listings so that when customers go on that, they see your product down below as well. So that's, that's a super, super powerful uh, strategy product targeting. I have a whole video breaking that down, which I'll link down below, um, but you can also hit learn more. But right now we're going to focus on keyword targeting and I'm going to show you how to get the best keywords for this particular, um, this strategy. So let's come over here to um, what's called Helium 10 and it is the Helium 10 Cerebro tool. If you guys don't have Helium 10 yet, I would highly recommend to get it because um, it's going to make product research easier. It's going to make optimizing your listing easier. It's going to help you with your PPC campaigns and the list goes on. So it's very important to understand um, keyword research, the demand of the product, the search volume of a product, and that's what this is going to do. And so what I did is I copied four ASINs of my competitors. So I went over here um, I searched bamboo sunglasses, I pulled the x-ray chrome extension, and I took the top four best sellers of this particular product, and I copied their ASIN. So I went boom, copied all of these, and I pasted it into Cerebro, and then I hit get keywords. And as you guys can see, there's 10,000 total keywords that came up from these different four ASINs, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically filter those out so that there's not so many keywords to basically pick from. And the first thing that I'm going to do is this position rank is very important to understand. Like we were talking about is there's the sponsored products. So we have the four sponsored and then we have position one, position two, three, four, and these are organic positions. These are not sponsored positions. And so if we come right here, position, we want to show 
the organic people that are ranked from one to 25. And then the search volume, I'm going to say the minimum is 400. You could do a little bit less, um, but I'm just going to do 400 for this example. And then I'm gonna do organic match type, and then I'm going to hit apply. And you're going to see that this keywords drop from 10,000 to 96. So we have 96 keywords now that we can go in and enter into our title, into our bullet points, into our backend search terms, and this is going to help us tremendously. So this is very important to understand, and I'm going to categorize it uh, by largest to smallest. So I'm gonna hit the search volume, and we're going to get the top, um, the top keywords for um, these products. So we have uh, wooden sunglasses for men. We have bamboo sunglasses. We have a Madison sunglasses men, which is looks like it's probably a brand, but wooden sunglasses, bamboo sunglasses, those are um, two good keywords. And then we also have bamboo sunglasses, sunglasses for men. Uh, blenders eyewear for men, that's a brand. Floating wooden glasses, that's a good keyword. So I'm gonna get rid of um, blenders and Madison because those are brands and we can't target brands on sponsored products. And, and when I say that brands, you can't target keyword brands. You can go in and target someone else's listings, the, the brand listing, but you can't do keyword brands, okay, if that makes sense. So now I have an entire list of keywords and I'm gonna come over here to export and I'm going to copy to Frankenstein. And if you have Helium 10, the platinum plan, which um, I have a coupon code to it, um, right here, I'll put the link down below. You guys can get it 50% off um, or 10% off for life. And it's going to cost you, let's see how much it's gonna be. Go to upgrade plan, we'll go to um, AMZ Champions 50, and we'll hit apply. And it's going to, oh, forgot the S, going to hit apply. And it's going to be 48.50 for that first month to have all of these tools. So let's go back and Frankenstein, as you guys can see, it has all of these different keywords. And again, I'll probably want to go through and take out the brand names. So there might be some other brand names um, in here, like Shade Tree Glasses. I think that's a brand name. So I'm going to delete that. Dragon Floating Glasses. I, I think that's a brand name, Dragon. So I just deleted those. And once you kind of got rid of the keywords that don't really make sense, I'm going to copy all of those and I'm going to come back to my Amazon um, keyword targeting my PPC campaign and I'm going to paste that in right there so that that is the exact match for these specific keywords and I'm gonna hit add keywords and then right here I can choose a bid I'm going to set it at like 75 cents and then I can always adjust it but right here it now added all of these different keywords into an exact match campaign uh, PPC campaign and you're going to see that um, it shows kind of the different suggested bids. So right here, the suggested bid is 84, it's 69. Um, here it's $2.69 per click. So maybe I don't want to target this right now because that's pretty expensive. So I'm gonna delete that. And I'm just going to make sure that there's not any that are crazy high. This one is $1.33 men sunglasses wood frame. That's a good keyword. So I'm going to leave that in there and then I'm going to hit launch campaign. So that is how I launch my manual campaign. That's how I get the keywords for that campaign. And that's very important to do. Um, going back to um, the campaign bidding strategy, the dynamic bids up or down, let's say I want to, and let's see if there's a quick way to do this, remove all. Let's go back to Helium 10. And remember the first three keywords were my top three keywords, the keywords that I want to rank for. I'm going to copy those and I'm going to put those in an exact match. I'm going to hit add keywords and I'm going to put this, this, these bids at like $2. And what this is going to do is it's going to make sure, and then if I have the dynamic bids up and down, I, I'm willing to pay $4 per click for these specific keywords. And the reason behind that, why I'm doing it for three keywords is I'm trying to rank organically for these three main keywords and I'm willing to do anything and everything to get to the first page. So that's what you would do there. So we have three campaigns set up. We have the automatic campaign. We have the manual campaign where we had all those keywords. And then we have the third one where we have very, very specific keywords, the three top keywords. And we're going to do the 
the dynamic bids up and down, and we're going to high, have high bids so that we are ranking and showing up on that first page. I don't care how much I'm spending, I'm going to show up on that first page. So that's what that's going to do. Then you're going to hit launch campaign, and that is basically how you set that up. So now let's go back to automatic and touch on a few key components to an automatic campaign. And I forgot to mention kind of what an automatic campaign actually is and what it like, how does it actually target certain keywords? And um, basically when you set it up, you're letting Amazon decide where to target and place your ad. So depending on the keywords in your title, in your bullet points, in your description is where Amazon is going to show that product. So um, let's come over here and I'll kind of show you guys an example. Let's go back to Amazon and we'll go to bamboo sunglasses. And say we have bamboo wood sunglasses, one of a kind polarized handmade, like one of a kind polarized handmade, that might be a keyword that someone types in and an automatic campaign is going to pick that up and be like, oh, we're going to show this product to this customer and see if they like it. And then they may like it, that may be what they're looking for, it may not be. And so that's the thing with automatic is you're giving Amazon a lot of leeway, a lot of room to basically go out and spend your budget. But it's very important to have them do that because then you know what keywords are converting, what ASINs are converting, what products are doing well, and then you can go in and optimize it. And I'll show you guys how to optimize it. Let's go back to um, Amazon Seller Central and let's go to Campaign Manager and you're going to see advertising reports. And this is where the magic happens. Um, so you're going to click on advertising reports. You're going to generate and create a report. And once you have a report generated, basically what it's going to do is it's going to look something like this. So I pulled this from my actual Amazon account and it's going to do a number of things for you. So hopefully you guys can see this. Um, maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see, but it's going to show you um, basically the, the ACOS, so what keywords are converting well, what keywords are not. So this is a column of good keywords that I need to make sure that I include in my manual campaign and I don't do a negative match, which I'll show you. So right here, as you guys can see, bamboo glasses for women. This is just an example. Um, I'm getting $51 in, in seven days and my ACOS is under 1%. So with this keyword, I'm getting literally $51 in sales and a total spend of four cents. So if I see that, I know that I need to go in and create a manual campaign and target this specific keyword and do exactly what I was showing you and do the dynamic bids up and down and spend as much money as you can to get for this keyword because it's converting really, really well. So that's what you're going to want to do with this advertising report is you're going to get a bunch of customer search terms and you're going to see what's performing well and what's not. And this is an example of what's not performing. And you're going to see my spend. I spent $23. I got $10 in sales and my total advertising, uh, my ACOS is 213%. So that is a bad keyword. And so what I want to do is I want to get that keyword and go put it into my negative match campaign on my automatic campaign. Okay, so here we are inside the automatic campaign and this is basically showing you, okay, I've spent this much and um, obviously there's not a ton of data, um, but when you do have the data and like I showed you how to do the advertising reports, you're going to hit negative keywords and you're going to add those negative keywords in here by negative exact. So from this, you're going to get a list of search terms that just are not profitable. And so you're going to want to copy and paste all of these keywords because literally my ACOS is 200, 200, 197, 190, 133%, 99%. I mean, I'm spending right here um, $96 for $103 in sales. So those aren't very good keywords and they're not converting very well. So I'm going to put those into the negative match campaign. And that's how you do it. You go to your actual campaign, you hit negative keywords, add negative keywords, and you enter it in those. And over time, your ACOS on that automatic campaign is going to slowly go down. And then your manual campaigns are going to slowly go down as well because you're adding keywords, you're removing keywords. And that's what PPC is, is it's basically going in, optimizing, seeing what's working, what's not. And that's the thing with PPC is there's no right 
or wrong way. It's just trial and error and understanding how to look at the data and how to generate these reports. So that's very important to understand is yes, you need to understand what it is, its purpose, how to set one up, but it's more important on how to actually optimize it. And that's how you do it. So you go to campaigns, advertising report, you get all that information. And with this information, then you go either add the keywords or you do a negative match so that Amazon doesn't target those keywords. And that may have been super confusing. I hope that this, you guys understood what I was trying to explain. And I know that this video was really long, long. So I appreciate you guys sticking around to the very end, but we'll wrap it up right there. That is literally a ton of information about PPC. If you guys have any more questions, I have a full course breaking down step-by-step -step the entire process and then on top of that, more campaigns and more PPC strategies. And then on the channel, I have tons of PPC strategies as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like this video, drop a comment, and we will see you in the next video. Bye.